Thank you for buying your Owen Ottoman bed from Dreams. Assembly of this bed takes two people around one and a half hours to complete. To assemble this bed, you will need the following parts. Identify which wing is right and which is left, and place each one on its side with the cable at the bottom. Fit the drawer unit to the back panel using the carcass screws, ensuring it is the right way up before doing so. Add the decor shelf to the back panel the same way, and use an Allen key to tighten all screws, being careful not to over-tighten. Once done, cover the screw heads with the decor pads and untie the LED leads. The leads pass through the holes adjacent to them. When complete, stand the wing panels back upright. Ensure the color dots are in the right position when fitting the USB switch. On the switch, the red dot should be on the left-hand side for the left wing and the right-hand side for the right wing. Once in place, pass the cables through the hole in the wing and slide the switch into place. Ensure it is level and fix with small screws. Next, fit the brackets to the back of the headboard. Use four bolt sets to attach the brackets to the horizontal slotted holes. Tighten to about 90%. Ensuring one person is supporting the headboard, move the wings into position one at a time, lining up the holes on the brackets to those on the wings. Before tightening, ensure the feet are on the floor of each wing and not held higher. Gently push the side of the wing up against the headboard so there is no gap and use an Allen key to tighten all bolts to 100%. Repeat on both sides. Unzip the main access flap central to the back of the headboard. Unzip the three cable holes on each side and slide the leads from the wings through the holes. Next, install the Y cable at the base and hold it in place with the Velcro tabs. The short lead on the Y cable goes through the hole at the base of the flap. Connect each lead by color, red to red and blue to blue, with the black leads connecting directly to the Y cable. The end of the Y cable connects to the power lead, and you can use the clips provided to keep the cables tight to the headboard. Any excess lead can be pushed through into the rear of the headboard. Before moving the headboard into its final position, check that all lights are working. Fit the fascias to the front of the switches and zip up the access flap at the back of the bed. With the headboard in its final position, we can now fit the side rails and footboard. Attach bolt assemblies to the top and bottom holes on both the headboard and footboard. Also, on the footboard, attach the central support bracket. Hook the side rail onto the bolts at the headboard on both sides and tighten to 90%. Slide in the storage baseboards and then fit the footboard by hooking the side rails to the bolts inside. Next, fit the corner brackets, again tightening the bolts to 90%. Once side rails and brackets are in place, ensure the bed is square and then all bolts can be tightened to 100%. Hold the slat frame upright and feed the crossbar through the slats. The position of the crossbar is labeled H and J. The crossbar will now line up with the holes in the frame, which can be loosely fixed with bolts. The metal fixing plates can also now be attached to the frame. Once in place, tighten all bolts to 100% and fit the hand strap to the end of the frame. Lift the support bars already attached to the side rails by untying the hinge mechanism and taking out the transit block. Lift the slat frame onto the bars, aligning it with the first set of holes by the headboard. Using three bolt sets on each side, secure the slat frame to the support bars by placing the bolts in the center of the long holes. Carefully lay the frame down, making sure there is an even gap all the way around. Lift the frame back up and hold it securely to tighten all the bolts to 
the gas piston can now be fitted by sliding the gas piston stem onto the axle and securing with a flange nut. Do not over tighten and leave a small gap for the piston to move freely. The final step is to fit the mattress stoppers by pushing them all the way through the upper and lower metal sections. Congratulations, your bed is now complete and ready to give you your best night's sleep.